Well, that last update was on the 13th of April 2018. Today is the 6th of October 2018, and in the meantime, I have actually made some uh, further additions to the layout. And of course, it's true to say that really, no layout is ever quite finished. I've added a lot more trees to the country end, as well as some line side fencing as well. More trees and shrubs have been planted in the far corner as well. I'd originally left the Pico foam underlay exposed around the layout, but I'm steadily infilling this to cover it up with, with ballast, and it looks a lot better for it. I've also added some non-working platform lamps as well. There's now also some vending machines on one of the uh, platforms. I've also added extra scenic items at the industrial end of the layout. This is part of the structure that disguises the um, power controller, but it had this neutral venting area just behind it here. And although it makes no sense geographically, I've just tucked a few road vehicles just under the cover there, and somehow it just improves the appearance. Once they're painted, these yard lamps uh, will also be attached. The next scenic feature to go in will be a bridge across this, uh, what shall we say, cutting uh, in the form of a trestle-like uh, construction. The new bridge is in the very early stages of uh, construction and I hope to be able to proceed with this uh, very, very shortly. Because the bridge is on a slight angle, I've measured the heights at each end to get the heights of the supports. I've got some of this modelling wood for the for the job. And I have a picture that I've printed off here of a variety or two of trestle bridges. I've got lots of ideas for the trestles construction from Luke Town's YouTube channel, so do check that out, it is excellent. Loosely based on Luke Town's excellent tutorial, these are the two supports ready for gluing. Before I continue work on the new bridge, we'll just have a few train run-bys.
the plan at the moment is to use these kebab skewers as railings along the bridge. Not quite sure how it's going to turn out yet, but uh, we'll press on and see what happens. Well, the new bridge is now in place, but it's not fixed, and of course, it still needs painting. It's probably slightly overscale, but overall, I'm quite pleased with the result. Well, I've had to stow the railway for the last uh, 10 days or so because the room has been in use. Uh, but now it's back and um, I'm going to continue with uh, the scenic uh, applications and at the moment the plan is to put these uh, blocks behind the baseboard when it's in the raised position so I can stand these telegraph poles on there uh, so that when the baseboard is raised uh, they'll be at a normal height so I'm going to give that a little bit of a go now Right, so the four telegraph poles are now fixed in place at the back here. So we'll get the proper lighting on, raise the baseboard into position and see what it all looks like. Well, the end result is, uh, is not too bad. It achieves the aim. I did manage to find time to paint and decorate the uh, the new bridge. Uh, we'll just try that in place and see what it looks like. When I finished painting the bridge it just looked too pristine even with the graffiti. So I did go back and just add a little bit of weathering and I think it's done the trick. There's not really a logical reason to, for the bridge. So I'm thinking of making some kind of footpath down the hill from the top down to the bottom somewhere anyway. I'll give it some thought. Well, at the moment this hiker has got a mighty step at the end of the bridge here so that's going to have to be made a little bit easier. You can see it again from this angle. From here it should be easy enough to create a footpath down to the bottom of the hill. Well I've now generally built up the height difference between the bridge and the ground here with pieces of screwed up uh, paper and got an off cut of uh, the Gage Master grass mat and I've just put a line of PVA adhesive roughly down the alignment of the footpath I'm just about to spread this out and uh, spread some, uh, some soil on there Well, I ground up a tiny amount of soil for my own garden to make the footpath and uh, fixed it down with my homemade scenic glue and it's a bit of a damp path at the moment but hopefully it'll dry okay I've got some line side fencing left over and I might pick out the root of the path with some of that Well I've now stuck the bridge down and added these uh, smoke deflectors uh, to the underside. They still need to be painted of course. Now that the glue is dry at this end of the bridge some more work clearly needs doing before I can start adding some more uh, scenic texturing. Well I've built up the area properly now at the end of the bridge uh, put down the uh, footpath and also installed the lengths of fencing. I've also roughly painted a green horizon onto the sky backdrop at this end. 
just before I get this uploaded, there's just a couple of jobs that will lie ahead. One is to continue infilling the ballast here to cover up the uh, the old uh, sponge underlay. And the other one is I'm going to continue to modify this Daypole Kitmaster uh, signal gantry. Uh, it needs to be somewhat higher than standard because I have my uh, US uh, double stack container chains to go underneath. So that still needs a bit of work, a bit of thought to uh, to design that. Well, I'll be back with another report on all that. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks very much for watching.